Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today we're going back to the storage facilities. Hopefully uh, we can get in there this time. And uh, this time I'm probably going to be a little bit more prepared. Although uh, I'm not actually sure if uh, if I even have an axe. So that's going to be interesting. Let's, uh, let's first check that out. In, bet in between uh, videos all I've done was just uh, had a smoke and uh, go to bed. We're still kind of starving ourselves. Because we're still a little bit overweight. It's not a huge deal, but it is something uh, we need to keep an eye on. Mm. Yeah, let me just grab a couple cans of peas. And a mushroom soup, because it's all light food. It does fill us up a little bit, but there's very little food, uh, very little fat in there. And what we can do is we can at least bring a stone axe. I don't know if it's going to cut it. If it's going to last all that long, but it's probably better than club hammers and normal hammers and all that stuff. And let's see, let's also bring a couple more stabbies if we have them. Because we're probably going to have to fight a lot of zombies. Yeah, let's bring all those screwdrivers, they're not going to last. Should I'm very tempted to bring the machete, but that's going to be... Uh, it's just not going to last all that long. It's such a shame to use a machete this early on, in my opinion. Yep. This will have to do. That's okay. Let's uh, let's pop by the neighbors to get some water. Make sure... Uh, make sure at least we don't, um, you know, get dehydrated. We still want to be careful over here because, you know, you never know if a couple zombies moved in, but... No, so far so good. So yeah, it could very well be uh, a two-day adventure if it involves like a whole day of constant fighting. I'm just uh, I'm just gonna go for a bit longer. I at least want to make my way over there and uh, undo some of the madness we caused last time because it got a little silly. It got a little silly with that house alone. That was really unfortunate. But it was bound to happen sometime, and honestly, rather there than in the, in town. I'm not, I'm not sure if um, if it matters that much where it happens. But at least you know, around our home, everything is still kind of kind of chill, kind of quiet. I'd rather have it stir up the area outside of town. Outside of town, there should be less zombies. And, um... But, you know, there's still gonna be plenty with the range of a house alone. And it's uh, definitely busy enough. I just hope we're gonna find a sledgehammer there. Some of you will have noticed, um... We don't have a lot of fuel. But... Yeah, what, what do we have? A little under a fifth of a tank? I do think with a quarter of a tank you can easily travel to another city, so I'm not too worried about it yet. Um, there's just one downside. I'm not sure, these are street lights, right? Or are they just telephone lines? Because we don't have any... Okay, we do still have lights, so there is still power, that's good. It would be good to check out the police car and turn off the lights, but also... Usually those batteries are in poor conditions anyway, so... Realistically, we're never gonna use them. Okay. But it's good to know that we do still have power. Uh, that means we could just go to uh, a gas station and we could just fill up without... I mean... If it's not too busy, of course. I know that for these commercial vehicles, the filler... The filler cap is on the left, so I'm just gonna try and stop. Pop out as quickly as I can, because zombies can be sneaking around here. And we'll start uh, killing them uh, over here. I'd rather f uh, fill up now than later. Yeah, if you do run out of power, I mean, if all power go turns off, you're gonna have to bring a generator and hook it up near the gas station. And we haven't read the generator manual yet, so that would have been really unfortunate. And it's still likely to happen before we get the, the manual, but that's okay. 
Because then at least we'll have one full fuel tank and that'll last us a while. I think I also found a vehicle near the police station with some fuel in it, but I'm not too sure. But how much and, and if it's actually correct. So sometimes it's a little tricky. Maybe it's actually not on the left. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I'm thinking of the pickup truck. It's gonna park a little bit close, so you don't really have to be super close, but... Also, you really don't have to turn off the engine. The game doesn't care. There we go. You stand to the side of the vehicle, press V. And if you're near a bump, you're in between the bump and the car, and the car is close enough to the bump, you can just press V and you'll see this fuel pump icon. Just gonna fast forward and we're good to go. That is really awesome. Okay, full of fuel. That's huge. These freezers, can of ice cream. They have a, fair, a fairly good chance of having ice cream, but no luck this time. It's okay though, because we're too, too heavy anyways. I'll just open a can of peas. You have to be standing still, otherwise it won't work. I'm gonna eat that. So we don't get too hungry while we uh, while we fight. Because hunger can affect your combat ability, for sure. So the diner there, lots of food. Let's get out here. This is not the main place I want to loot, but before we drag hundreds of zombies with us. I'll just go uh, fight little bits at a time. Conserve my stamina where I can. I should probably switch to the hammer or the... Or the screwdriver to save more stamina, but... This'll do for now. We'll switch in a little bit. This just does so much damage, the baseball bat. It's so good. It's, uh, the downside of knives and and the hammers especially is they don't do that much damage early on. Actually, in general, hammers are a little bit shit for damage. It's just nice that you can fight a long time with them. I'm gonna take some beta blockers. Well, I said I was gonna try not to drag hundreds of zombies with me, but I suspect we're gonna be uh, growing this horde for a little bit. So I'm gonna switch to the screwdriver. It should help. Couple things away, and I'll grab another screwdriver. I already have the screwdriver for my belt equipped. Now I can attach a new screwdriver to my belt, so that that'll be uh, ready as a backup. Not gonna be too long before I need a fresh one anyways. One of those zombies has a hand fork, which is also a decent stabbing weapon. I assume they don't last too long, but I might pick it up, because I think we're gonna use uh, a bunch of weapons today. the garbage over here. Oh, and another fresh batch of zombies. It's probably gonna happen a couple more times.
a little hordes like these, I just try to uh, stay in a fairly small area. It's very, very likely for other zombies to spot this group of zombies and want to join in on the fun. Just fair enough. You don't see a piece of human snack every day. It's not too bad. Some are dying. Of course, we have epic fog again. It would have been good to check uh, to find a weather forecast because you can get warnings for the fog. Every hour, there's a radio broadcast with a weather report. It's an automated system that survives the apocalypse. And it should keep going, although there are periods where uh, you cannot um, receive the channel. It might be weather related. One of those zombies is bringing us a screwdriver, which is always nice. Early game the screwdrivers can really be lifesavers. Not the best weapons. They sound very underwhelming. Just this little squish, squish, squish. But I think they're about as good as kitchen knife. Maybe they do a tiny bit less damage, but they give you a little bit more durability. Oh, there it goes. This one we mentioned durability. Actually, it did okay. It lasted a bit. I'm just gonna take another beta blocker. The horde hasn't really shrunk, but we're still making progress. Staying behind the van is really sketchy. Wouldn't recommend it. You never know what's going on. There might be a crawler waiting for you. One little trick that can be really useful. If you have a horde like this, you're always gonna have some zombies coming in, some zombies losing, uh, losing their focus. They are zombies after all. They can be good with a, a simple building like this to just sneak around. We're not even trying to lose them. We're just trying to break them up. Mindful of corners. Just a little sprint there. And now at least when we come around, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a lot less to fight. We'll still fight them all in the end, but it's just, it's just a little bit of breathing room. Not actually sure where they are, probably around the van. Yep, there they are. Now we could try to lure just in a couple at a time. Right around the edge of where they can see us. Just those that are looking in the right direction will see us. And honestly, if some of them stay around there, that is a-okay. Yep, oh, there they come. But it is way more manageable like this, so... That's so satisfying. Most of these will have taken some damage over time. Still there's a couple uh, out back there. Let's take those two, because I do want to check out this building. Because there should be car parts, there might be tools. It is a good place to check out. One of the most difficult things early game, in my opinion, of, or I mean, when you've been playing for not that long, is managing your stamina. Things like these, and just do not run. Do not run ever. Well, almost ever. <laughs> Those are, um... Those can really, uh, proceeds to run. Those are really lifesavers. Let's see if anything is open. Just any snacks. Orange soda is good. It's probably very sugary, but... We've earned a sugary snack after all this fighting. Garbage bag. I'm always looking for garbage bag. I'll take the pop. 
gonna sneak in. Mostly interested in this storage outback. Goggles, tarp, tire pump is good. Screwdriver, definitely taking that. Spare engine parts, we can fix up our engines with that. Only a tiny bit. I want, I want the wrench. I don't remember if I have any mechanics books. Normally I have a mod to keep track of that, so we'll just take it just in case. Gonna remove battery and I'm gonna do one because otherwise it also does the one out of my bag. Don't want that. This flashlight gives more light than our torch, but it also drains the battery faster. I just wanna check if there's nothing in the toolbox. You can see the mouse over. Nope, nothing. Log wrench is probably a good one to take. Got a wrench and screwdriver, that's pretty good. A fresh tire, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna right click the radio and do device options. See if there is no, just the four normal default radio stations. I will bring it though. It doesn't have the weather broadcast thingamajig. But it's still nice to have a radio. Alright, those are dealt with. Fog is lifting, that's really awesome. We might... Oh, there's more there. You know what? I have some weapons to burn through. I might as well clear them up. I also just like the combat and um, it's good to get them out of the way before they randomly walk in our direction. You never know. First I'm just gonna drop a couple things, make sure we have plenty space. There, let's go. Probably should have rested up for a little bit because this is uh, gonna take some energy, but too late now. And there we finally have the zombie with the hand fork. And that's it. Might be a couple stragglers, but I think we're good to, uh, to move towards the storage facility. <laughs> I see this van here, we fought all the way back up to the T-junction. That's okay. As long as we get it done, it's all good. So let's see if we can actually get in the van. We'll probably will most definitely drag in some zombies, but that's okay. At least I assumed they would all hear me, but I think we might be good. Stealth isn't always the safest way to go, which is a little counterintuitive. Oh, this isn't at all where we need to be. Whoops. We're way too far up. So I'm just gonna sneak back to the road. And more zombies, more zombies. Yep, this is near the entrance. Okay, we have a bit more fighting to do. We're already gonna park here. No, 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 no. I accidentally pressed M for map instead of N to uh, for the ignition. So I almost got stuck in the map. That's a good way to get yourself killed. It's probably safer to click the, uh, the key in the ignition for that reason. But luckily I could get out of the map quick enough and I could just hop out. I'd rather not leave the engine running because I don't like the waste of fuel, but idling takes very little energy, very little fuel. It's really not that big of a deal. I've definitely left engines running throughout the night and in the morning I saw, yeah, sure, the needle, it had dropped a bit, but I don't think it was, hmm, I don't know, maybe a bit over 10%, but I don't think it much, was much more than that. different vehicles will have different fuel consumption and tank sizes so take it with a grain of salt but it's really not that bad 
There is a silly amount of fuel in the gas stations. So, um, it's really, uh, you're never gonna go through all of that fuel. Unless you have a bunch of generator and, yeah, if you want to power the whole city, sure, it's a different thing. But in a normal run, you're not gonna run out of fuel. And if you do, you probably have another gas station nearby. Most towns will have more than one. I think all of them, except West Point, is a little bit uh, is a little bit harsh in that regard. There's only the one in the busy part, but alas, in most cases, you really don't have to worry about it. Oh, look at that! We made some more friends. Oh shit! You also noticed that um, we're getting panic, even though I had a beta blocker just a minute ago. They don't last that long, and sometimes you need a second beta blocker. So that's something to know. So, in situations like these... Ooh, duffel bag. It's, uh, it's good to bring extra if you can. Of course, I've only had the one jar, the one package ever. So, yeah, we're probably gonna run through them today, but that's okay. This is probably the worst horde we're gonna have to deal with for a while. At least I hope so. So, it seems like our heart is just getting bigger and bigger, which is uh, a little bit concerning. So I'm actually going to try to attract those zombies, and I'm actually going to try to lose them in the trailer park. I think that will be a better idea, because the day progresses, and I'm just getting more and more zombies, and this is getting a little bit nuts. So we're just going to do what we've done before, like at the, at the diner. Just find some building to walk around. They'll probably absolutely destroy that building. That's okay. I wasn't planning to use, uh, planning on using any of these trailers. Or uh, I think there's another building here. Yeah, I'm gonna assume this is kind of like the caretaker for this trailer park. They probably lives here. We could deal with these, but it's just gonna take us the rest of the day, and that's a little bit silly. I'm sure we'll be back here soon enough and we can get rid of some more of these. So I'm just gonna walk around here, be careful in this little gap. Trees are cursed as heck. And honestly, that might do it. I'm sure some will manage to follow us somehow. Some will probably be distracted here and hopefully their movement won't attract any others but I'm pretty sure this should be okay just getting to know their pathing how their visibility how their vision works all that stuff is really useful so I'm just gonna use the walk to command and hop back to my van hopefully we can uh, stop the engine a little bit See a cop with a nightstick, that's awesome. Yep. You may have seen a little stutter there. When the zombie turns into a crawler, usually your game freezes for just a couple frames. Always startles me. So if you're wondering, oh why is my game chugging? No, it's just a thing that happens for everyone. switch to the, the club hammer where I can because I do want to get some more some more levels for my short blend I do think we've been spotted by more zombies than uh, than I anticipated but at least now they're coming in one by one. It's still a lot better than what it was before. Oh crap. Well, I guess this is as good as a time as any to tell you about the helicopter, huh? <laughs> God. This is the worst possible timing. 
So on day six, seven, six, seven, eight, or nine. And I think this is day nine, so I really should have seen this coming. We get visited by a helicopter. And it can happen, I think, at the earliest around 10 in the morning, but apparently also at 5 in the afternoon. And he'll just keep hovering above you. And you might hear him going left and right, but it's not, he doesn't actually have a physical location. It's just he's there, he's right on top of you, and he's making noise. Just have to imagine that it's kind of like a house alarm or you shooting a gun. It's just pulses of noise. And every zombie in the neighborhood will be drawn to your location. He does come and go. And I think if you go inside around the time he, uh, when he's not above you, it should help a lot. I think if you're inside, you don't send those sound pulses, basically. Unless he's kind of spots you going in. Unless the sound starts before you're inside. So, I don't know what the range is on the helicopter. It doesn't seem too bad, actually. There are some zombies at the entrance making their way in. But as long as they're trickling in, we'll be fine. I don't think it's gonna lure all of the zombies from the trailer park in, like the house alarm would have done, and probably did last time. Some zombies are getting distracted because the van, the engine is still running, it's more interesting, so that's good at least. So I'm just gonna rest up for a little bit, and I'm gonna have a smoke. Usually I'd either try to hide inside, or I try to, um, just keep walking around the city, driving around, whatever. Just keep them moving, because zombies will be coming towards me. And um, yeah, I don't want them to wreck all my windows in my base. This is the first time I'm just staying put outside, as far as I can remember. So that's, uh, that's interesting. I guess for science, we'll see how this goes. Honestly, I expected way worse. It re it's really meant to make players go, oh shit, I'm effed, because it's a lot of noise. But honestly, I expected worse. I think I'm just going to start looting. Why not? I'm going to clear some of these zombies. Here, this guy was on the door, or this girl, was on the door because structures are more interesting than me being very noisy. That's kind of amazing. I'm gonna check some of these open lockers for weapons. It's always good to have more weapons. Try not to get jumped. Try not to linger in inside too long. What's good about this uh, helicopter event is that he uh, it arrived at 5 and uh, they should leave at 8. At least, maybe if it comes really late it stays up a little bit longer. But typically the helicopter always is gone by 8 for me. As you see we have a bunch of zombies here but it's okay, they could walk in, they could just walk towards me, but it's too far to go all the way around, so their pathing doesn't let, let them. So they're just gonna stay here, it's fine. I just wanna make sure this, uh, the house alarm didn't pull a whole lot of zombies onto the area. See, they will move slightly towards me, but then they just kinda get stuck, so it's really no biggie. I'm sure I've been in this locker. Yep. If there were, would have been weapons, I would have taken them. And we're getting drowsy, which is not ideal. I don't think I have a lot of vitamins. Well, I probably have vitamins, but mm, at home, not with me. So what I think I'm going to do... 
gonna see if I can open this door. I cannot. That's a shame. I'm gonna see if I can lure out these zombies. I think I can. I think that'll be fine. Don't get too close to the window because they will lunge at you. I'm just gonna take all of these zombies for a walk. And I'm just gonna eat a whole tea bag. Yes, you don't have to make tea out of it, you don't have to mess with boiling water, just eat a tea bag and it'll help with your fatigue. It's not too impressive how long it works, but it'll do in a pinch. It's very helpful. Watch out for corners, corners will get you. And clunch. That's good. And just on those last hits we got a bit of exertion. So we timed that perfectly. Alright, hungry, hungry enough to eat a horse, that is A-OK. -okay. Gonna sit on the ground for a sec. Recover some of my stamina. Fast forward, there we go. Don't wanna sit here too long though, because then we're gonna get tired again. I'm kind of glad I left the engine running, not gonna lie. Because that really kept a bunch of them preoccupied. We have a straggler, let's deal with that. Yeah, I kind of had the feeling this would become a multi-day adventure. We remove broken glass before they lunge. Ooh, spicy. Probably shouldn't have. Don't do this, kids. Don't get yourself killed doing stupid shit like I do. That honestly, if I were only 0.2 seconds later, could have gotten me killed. down that's good I really didn't even need to get rid of this glass I just like the idea of having a way to go in and a way to go out oh there was my hammer and let's see if we can do a stealth kill on this one go. <laughs> Poke store. It's kind of pointless. Oh, where did you come from? Alright, I guess I didn't properly check this area. Maybe there's a window here at back? Yes, there is. Good to know. Okay, let's sneak here. Make sure there's nothing here. Move the glass. In case we have to sneak out. I'll take the bag, because I'm obsessed with with bags. I'll take the fruit, hell yeah. And the cake slice. Alright. There are probably places we could sleep here if need be, and I think I will do that. We could drive home, that's probably safer, but... I don't like... It feels like losing progress sometimes. So we have a pretty nice little room here that we could sleep. These metal doors have a, a bit of a, a bit of health. They last a while. But I also want to check these corpses because one of them could have a key. Sadly, that's not the case. Oh. I wonder, can we aggro, can we trigger just a couple of zombies to come towards us? It's very risky because every horde, every group of 20 zombies has one leader. 
And if you trigger the wrong one, all 20 will come to your location. And oh, that's a key. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to close the door. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but you know, it might, it might just be enough. And now we can open the security door. And every other door too. That's a generator. Perfect. That's another generator. That's awesome. Then we can leave one at the gas station. Nice. Oh, that's a trowel. That's a weapon. Garden hoe is a weapon. Care too much about the broccoli seeds, but it's not a crop we can grow. Right now, I'm mostly looking for furniture. A wooden bar stool would be. I think you can sleep on it. I assume so. But if we can find like a couch, that would be really good. I have no idea how likely that is. A garden fork is a really good weapon. It's a spear, but more durable. I'm gonna grab one chair. Equip secondary. I'm actually gonna unequip. I'm gonna go to this left menu. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Place furniture. Now we can sleep on this chair if we need to. That would be a okay. It's not perfect. It's decent. Keep in mind, zombies can look through those. That's not a generator, that's beautiful. Okay, we're set for generators for the rest of this run. It's usually how it goes when you come to these places. And honestly, we should probably just call it a night for this in-game day. How hungry are we? Very hungry, we do strength and healing. That's okay. That will make combat a little trickier. I think we are still overweight. Yep, we're still overweight, but if we drop to 84, we're gonna be good. So I'm just gonna go and eat an orange. Nice low fat meal. We'll be fine. And I'm gonna go sleep. Right, a fresh day. Something to know about chairs and sleeping. It says bad quality, bad. That means that it takes longer to get rid of your fatigue. That also means there's a chance that you wake up not fully rested. You might think, okay, I've slept, I have a full day of energy. There is a chance that you will get fatigue earlier than you sh think you should. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. Not a generator. Hell yeah. A toolbox with spare engine parts. Ooh, lanes auto manual commercial models this is great i'm gonna read it straight away because these magazines are super quick i'm gonna drop my hammer in there actually gonna put this back i've read it anyway so why bother keeping it so yeah, you need to read um there are three auto manuals one for commercial one for sports and one for normal i guess regular or whatever they call them models so after reading this one we can do basic mechanic stuff swapping batteries stuff like that uh, on vans and pickup trucks and um, yeah basically that riverside map have we ever read that let me check yes we have okay I got excited, but I have it. Alright, this place honestly... I mean, these books could be nice. Fishing 5, Foraging 1. I have no idea if I have it. I think so. We already found Mechanics 2 earlier. You really have to keep a, keep a note. There's some clothing here, but nothing to get too excited about, except these bags of plaster powder are actually really nice. Because later we're going to be making our own constructions. You can make log walls, you can make proper walls. Shit. 
But you can also, when you make proper walls, you can add plaster. And it gets, uh, and it becomes way stronger, basically. Right, it's probably gonna be... I was gonna say, maybe a little spicy out here? Yeah, there are definitely some zombies from uh, around the van. I guess it's kind of nice that we left the van running from, I want to say, probably 3 or 4 in the afternoon. It might be running a full day by the time we're done with this. And then, and we know it was basically full, so we can see how much fuel it takes. That's kind of that's kind of useful for science. I was really hoping for uh, an axe in one of these first lockers, but but we'll make do without. We'll just use hammers and stuff to open uh, some storage lockers. We don't really have an other option, except for of course our homemade axe. Maybe we can even make more of those. I will keep the baseball bat, but I will drop it here. So I can easily find it, because if we can fix up the baseball bat, I think it's sort of worth it to do it with a baseball bat. Because it does so much damage, I just really like fighting with them. Although we have a bunch, I think. I think you could do with, uh, you could fix it with duct tape or with uh, wood glue. A level up nimble, that is really good. Let me check out. I think that makes level 3. That's our first level up. And you can really uh, notice in combat that we just walk backwards faster. So we could do more stabs before having to turn around if our weapon doesn't break. So yeah, that's why I take Burglar. From level 2 to level 3 in the first 10 days. And then you're just going to be more effective in combat. It's really nice. Sometimes you do have to adjust your timing a little bit when you uh, level up Nimble. That's something to keep in mind. Whoops. I don't like to have no weapons on my belt. That's a little bit dicey. But let's grab the Garden Hoe. Keep in mind, the Garden Fork is technically, according to the game, a spear. So that one fights a little bit different. I'll demonstrate that later. The Garden Hoe is kind of nice. I think it does pretty good damage. It's long blunt. I just don't think it's going to last very long. But also it just looks really cool to fight with garden equipment. I don't know why. It's just cool. There we go. Somewhere behind us was a zombie with a duffel bag. I don't remember if we've killed him yet, so we're just gonna loop around this building again. If we can find it. Oh, I think I see it. There we go. It's another good thing about looping around these buildings. Zombies will often get distracted by doors. Zombies love doors. They go nuts for doors. It's beautiful. And there we go, that's a brand new bag. Hell yeah, we're gonna equip on back. I'm gonna put a hand fork in there. And I'm gonna equip secondary, the school bag. Drag everything from this bag to that bag, fast forward. That's better weight reduction and it holds three more weights, that's awesome. And we're gonna celebrate with a slice of cake. Awesome. Alright. Now that we have that taken care of, I should probably look for weapons. In fact, I will grab this screwdriver, but I don't think we're struggling for weapons, so... Yeah, we're just gonna YOLO it. That's still a hip thing to say, right? Absolutely not. Unequip the school bag in my other bag. I do like to have it uh, 
I have a backup bag for loot. And it seems... It's pretty chill around my vehicle. Sweet. In which case, hop in, press N, hop out. Oh, I think we used a chunk of fuel, but not what I'm worried, I'd right, I'm worried about right now. I could talk, I swear. I'm just gonna get myself a peach and a cigarette. I think we still have some lighter looking. We used half our lighter. Doesn't last too long. It's kind of silly how quickly lighters run out. Alright, awesome. We are a bit low on water, so I'm gonna go... I think this was the janitor's closet. You could hear this click, because we opened it with a lock. If we can get some water. We used one and a half of our bottles. Oh, look at that. A pipe wrench. Not in good shape, but still a box of nails. I'll take that for sure. Screwdriver. Wrench is also in poor shape. Not worth the wait. I'll take the free light bulbs. Because light bulbs run out in this game, which is honestly a little bit silly, but that is how it is. So we will take them. I don't know how long they last. I think a decent amount of time, but alas. Then we're going to take the stone axe. I don't even know if I've ever used a stone axe on these doors. And we'll just see how this goes. Oh, I lied before. We didn't use much fuel at all. That's... Maybe 15% of our tank. That was well worth it, I say. Because it kept the, busy, uh, the zombies uh, busy for a good while. Alright, some more tools. Club hammer, propane torch, leather gloves. These ones are in good condition. And the propane torch is definitely a good find. I'll take one more saw as backup. And the club hammer is kind of shit. Also, this is an army cot. They're really light. And I think their bed quality is average. So this could have been a decent place to sleep actually. But of course we couldn't know that. put this in the van and dump a lot of other stuff too actually I do still have a generator in the, in the passenger seat that's a bit of a shame there could have been more storage space but alas we'll just take what we really need and leave the rest then we can always come back some other time I'm gonna assume it's usually not gonna be as bad as it was uh, today to get here <laughs> god I hope so oh this is a pretty decent locker we have some uh, some more mechanic stuff. The empty gas cans are just great for hoarding uh, fuel. More light bulbs. You don't need too many of them. More boots. Metal bar is a good weapon. Hell yeah. Well, this is a find I don't think I've ever seen before. Furry ears. It looks like a bandana. That is quite something. Oh, I did not know those exist in the game. Interesting. I'm yeah, I'm very sure we're not using any mods, and it would say if it was modded. Hmm. Well today I learned. Well, that was the stone axe. I looked at it a while ago and the condition was still pretty decent. So I was starting to think like, hey, it doesn't take any damage at all from opening doors, but it definitely does. Cicada, I think we have... I think the club hammer does okay damage. Otherwise a normal hammer will do anything will do. But I'd rather use something that is plentiful. Oh, this is a good find. Military green camo jacket. Offers more protection than a leather jacket, so hell yeah. Insulation is a bit on the high side, but so is the leather jacket, so it's not too bad. Ooh, also military desert boots, definitely taking those. Because those have less insulation than the, the black bo uh, military boots or the boots boots. 
Also jar lids and jars definitely taking that. That is very rare. But other than that, another mining helmet. What? Okay, RNG is liking us. But unless I find uh, anything super interesting, I'll just uh, spare you all of the looting here because it just takes forever. <laughs> I think we've spent half the day just hammering on these doors. It's kind of boring, but hey, okay, has to happen. Luckily, there aren't many of these um, places that you need to hammer open, so that's a good thing. All right, that's it. I don't think any everything in the van is from today, but we got a bit of clothing, some jars, a little bit of fishing equipment, uh, a bunch of tools, rubber ducky. We always got to bring the rubber ducky. That's kind of my lucky charm. A box of nails, some books, the propane torch is really good. Five spare engine parts, six empty gas cans. That's pretty sweet. A bunch of metal pipes and bars that are weapons. One nightstick, but that's probably just from a dead cop zombie. I'm also gonna pick up a generator and keep it on me. It's a little risky, but I have a plan. You can't drop it in a hurry. I didn't bring all the generators from inside. I can always come back for those. That's okay. And um, drop a couple things there. So if we have to get out to fight zombies, we could just press one to equip our weapon. That will unequip the generator and just drop it on the ground. So what I'm hoping to do... It's not ideal because as I already said around 5 p.m. we got rousy, which is kind of silly. But you know, sleeping on the chair is not ideal. So what I want to do is just I want to drive to the gas station. If it's at all chill, I'll we'll get out, press E, press 1. Drop the gen, get in. It's close enough. It can power the, the the gas station from here. Now we have one there, and we still have one on our seat for our home base. So it's good. So yeah, we're just gonna book it home because I don't have more coffee, tea, vitamins, nothing to stay awake. So uh, I just want to get the heck out of here. Although. It's not too busy. I would love to take a peek in these police cars. Turn off the lights, get the ammo, get the gun. Get the heck out of here. More ammo. A rifle that I don't want, but I do want the twine and I'll leave the torch. I'm surprised how, uh, how chill it is here. Smash this window. And three boxes of 9mm ammo. That is really good. I'm glad I checked that out. Oh, I don't know if I said before boxes of 308 ammo, it was just loose rounds. But still, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, pretty happy with that loot. I really think that um, Speed Demon helps us get over the grass here. I really feel like our engine has just way more power. Which is uh, really good to know. I don't like that it's so loud in reverse, but I do think it's uh, a good trade-off. I think it is well worth it, now that I've been using it for a little bit. I've never done the math on it or the science. I don't know how much more powerful it is. But I'm loving it. So yeah, I'm pretty glad, uh, I'm pretty uh, happy with our haul. Honestly, not all that much that was super essential, but we have a couple generators. We can always go back for more generators. I think... Mm, I definitely want to pay this place a visit. There might be some good cars or car parts in there, maybe fuel. That would be a good place to go at some point. But yeah, I think for next time, I probably, I, I'm gonna dump all, everything I have on the lawn. And I'm gonna make different piles, but I'll do that off stream, because that's gonna take a while. And um, 
I'll make a pile for food, a pile for weapons, a pile for tools, and a pile for craftables, something like that. And then a miscellaneous pile, probably five piles in the lawn. And then we'll think of a storage system. And I'm also going to uh, grind a little bit of carpentry for next time so we can make stairs, so we can really upgrade our base. So yeah, that'll be next time. But for now, I don't know how long this video will turn out to be. I'll probably cut out the majority, so it might be the shortest one yet, but it definitely was the longest one yet to record, because holy heck, there was a lot of combat and just a lot of hammering on doors. It was a little silly. I'm not yet sure yet how I'll cut that. But uh, yeah, there'll be something to uh, to play with a little bit if I just want to cut it or if I want to fast forward it because it would be fun to share the combat but just having it play at 4 times speed is just going to be silly. So yeah, there'll be something fun to, uh, to puzzle with in editing. And of course... We got greeted by some fresh zombies. We've been away for so long that we've had uh, a chance for zombies to respawn near home. It's always fun about these multi-day adventures. Whoa, it's busier than I thought. Interesting. Man, I wish I had coffee. We're proper tired now. Well. See, so you can already tell. They were way... I was way later than usual to uh, to spot them from behind. From behind me, I should say. So yeah, fired when tired is pretty dangerous, but if you have keen hearing, you can still see a fair bit behind you. It's not too bad. Recommend against it, but hey, sometimes you just have to. And then keen hearing will definitely save your life. Well will definitely help. It might just be enough to save your life. It's brutal like that. I definitely feel like it has for me. There is something you can do. I may have shown it already, but if you just walk past these fences, you can really uh, force them to spread out. Be really mindful that you might not see crawlers, because the fence might hide them. Yeah, kind of surprised how many zombies found me here. Guess some were probably just hiding in the trees. What the hell was that game? For some reason the game thought it would be funny to do a ground attack even though there was no ground, no lying zombie nearby. That was uh, dangerous. A little bit dangerous. I've definitely gotten a, a scratch that way because um, there are definitely some bugs in the combat system, sadly. But I'm gonna hope and assume that in build 42 they do a lot of polishing. I think that's just about it. I'll give my survivor a smoke before bedtime. I feel like that's fair. He's done amazing work. He's killed a bunch of zombies. What are we at for zombie kills? We're at 457, most of them with the baseball bat. That's pretty good. I don't know how much it was before today, but I feel like... I feel like all, about half of that was today. So yeah. It was fun. I always love me a good bit of murder. But I'll wrap it up here. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. And I hope you all have a great day.